y'all welcome to Rose and Crafts. Today I am doing a birthday card and it is for my nephew who will be turning three next week. Um, so what I've done is he loves Paw Patrol. So I went online and I found a coloring page of one of the Paw Patrol characters whose name is Marshall. And I printed him out on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock. And I colored him with my Spectrum Noir markers. And then I went into my Silhouette uh, software. And I found a fire truck. Um, because Marshall rides a fire truck. He's the fire dog. And I think it, this one is from Silhouette the silhouette store but I'm not sure because I didn't write it down so I apologize for that but I'm pretty sure that's where I found him and for a list of supplies and measurements including um, the colors I used to color Marshall here click the information bar below for a link to my blog um, I also just went ahead and used my Copic on the light the little light here and the two metal bars there. They, it was just easier. Um, so, what I did was I went ahead and I pieced this part somewhere in my moving things around. I got the sizes messed up. So, it doesn't fit exactly, but the good thing is, is he's three and he won't care. <laughs> so, I'm going with it. Um, so, I'm going to put these aside. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Um, I haven't put this together yet because I didn't want you to just watch me stick Marshall on and do the inside. Which is essentially well, all it is, but if you just sat here and watched me try and piece this thing, it was not pretty. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. It was not fun. And you would have watched a very long video of me having to peel things up and stick them back and just would not have been worth watching. So I've got two paper tray ink stamps. These are from the uh, Birthdays In and Out Volume 4 stamp set. And I was originally going to use black ink. I'm going to use black on the front. And on the inside, I think I want to go ahead and use some red. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my stamp quick because I started to ink it up. So I'm going to switch this out for this fire truck piece. And I'm going to put Marshall here in the middle. So I think I can fit my happy birthday right here, which I can. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up with some black Versacolor ink. Which I just got and I'm kind of excited about it because I paid like 50 cents for it. No, I paid a quarter for it on clearance. All right, so I'm just gonna line this up and stamp happy birthday. Oh, that's cute. I like that and let me put that baby wipe. Okay, and I'm going to set this aside to dry because it is um, pigment ink, so it does need some time to chill out and dry. Okay, so I'm going to bring this red piece in, and I'm going to use some Versacolor Rose Red. Oops, I'm down a little far, sorry guys. So I'm just going to ink him up really good, and then I want to look through it. There we go. Okay, and I don't have a lot of room for sentiment, so I'm just going to do happy birthday, and then I will hand write a message for him. before I mail it. 
Okay. With school starting, I kind of lost track of the fact that his birthday is next week. But I can still have it in the mail before his birthday, which doesn't always happen. <laughs> Usually they get them like three months later when I see them. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside to dry quick because I definitely don't want to smudge the red. The black on the red I can kind of live with. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to take some of this uh, art glitter glue and I'm just going to... Oops, I did not want glue there. Sorry about that. Okay, that's okay. We caught it. <laughs> okay. I do, however, want glue on my ladder. Oops. And I want to make sure that I got a pretty good amount because I don't want this coming apart. Okay. And then I'm kind of going to just pick this up and line it up the best I can. Like I said, I got my my sizing wrong somewhere along the line. And I'm not quite sure where that happened, but I'm kind of okay with it. I'm, I'm not making it one of those end of the world type issues. Like down here, I can just snip these little spokes off and it won't make a whole lot of difference. It's not going to change anything as far as my inside white piece or anything like that. So. I can go ahead and just notch out my tires if I need to. Or I can leave them. Not a big deal. Okay. There we go. Okay. I do need to do that because it's kind of bugging me. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's not bad. Okay, so now we're going to put Marshall on. And I'm going to pop Marshall up using some foam tape. I've got a little piece here. And I'm for sure going to put some tape, foam tape there. Um, and I can put some on his little feet. Okay, and I'm going to put just a tiny little piece on the side of his head so he doesn't look lopsided. And I know you can't see him right now, but I promise you're not missing anything. I've got the wrong scissors here. There we go. Okay. So, okay, so I'm going to put the foam tape on this side of his head. You know what, I'm just going to grab a little piece of new, there we go, and I'm just going to put it on this side of his head right there, because that does overlap. Okay, that looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and peel my backing off. Okay. 
There we go. And we're going to open our card up a little bit here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my ATG gun for this. Because it's just easier. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of, eyeball it in here. There we go. That's close enough. And that's our card for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you all next time.